Well, I want to bring in Mark Nijame. He is a criminal defense attorney in Florida. He does not have cotton mouth, so he is going to speak with me about this. Good to see you again, Mark. Thank you for doing the show. I, I just wanted to get your reaction. Have you ever heard of anybody spinning through, well, seven and now maybe eight, who knows, uh, before they're actually going on a, a, a murder case? I hate Ashley. Uh, I think this may be a Guinness Book record. Um, you, you sometimes see it in, in private cases, not as many as this, but when people can afford it, they often are looking for a lawyer who tells them what they want to hear. Uh, in this particular case, uh, I've looked through some of the lawyers that have represented her, and some are excellent lawyers. Trish Cashman is an excellent lawyer. I've been doing this a long time. But you can't put up with the client's nonsense. And I think it, it, it sounds like people have been telling her what she's looking at, what the facts are, the evidence is, are against her, and she doesn't want to hear it. Maybe, maybe they're saying, girl, you have a plea bargain and not much else, so, I mean, she doesn't want to hear it, possibly. So I want to read uh, what Sarah Boone told the judge on, on Friday. This is a quote. Everyone constantly, constantly, constantly blames me. Why I am now on attorney number eight, I am not the reason for any of them. At what point, Mark, does a judge have to force a lawyer to stay on the case? Because I have seen it before, and I've always been shocked. Um, but at what point does, it, does a judge have to say, there, you have no choice, you have to defend this woman? It really becomes a challenge at times, simply because if a lawyer cannot provide effective assistance of counsel, they, and they have an ethical obligation to get out of the case. If they do not believe they can render um, uh, the type of representation that all defendants are entitled to. In this particular case, and, and lawyers are allowed to fire their clients. I fired many. You have to be able to control the case, not let the case control you. And she's likely not wanting to hear what people have to tell her. She's in a difficult position. If she takes a stand, then, you know, this personality that we've all seen is not going to be the most endearing and great likelihood to a jury. On the other hand, if she doesn't take the stand, what the jury's going to hear is this horrific tape uh, and, and hear her voice, and that'll be all that they hear about her, taunting her deceased boyfriend who was, you know, scratching and clawing his way trying to get out of a suitcase. It, it makes my stomach turn when I see the tape, and if I were a juror, I would hate her immediately before anybody did uh, a closing summation. So, uh, real quickly, what do you see? And I know you're not inside the entire case, you don't have all the, but we sure have a mountain of it. We've seen a lot. Do you think, Mark Nijame, in your estimation, that her only shot here is a plea? Depends on what the plea is. You're looking at 25 years, uh, I mean, you're looking at 30 years with a minimum of 16 years and three quarters, I believe, in Florida on second degree murder. So if she's getting anything less than 30 years uh, and somewhere between 16 and three quarters, she needs to seriously think about that. I suspect that's what her lawyers have told her, that you, you might want to work out a plea here, because there does not seem to be a lot of sympathy that's going to attach to her. And she doesn't want to hear the fact that she's looking at a 30 year sentence if she goes to trial. And the jurors hear this, this really horrific um, 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 statements and comments that she was making about her dying boyfriend. There is a reason why I have stuck with you for over 20 years since Casey Anthony. It's because you're smart and you're great at this and you're not on the show enough. So I'm going to book you again and I hope you'll say yes. I miss you. Yes. All right. Thanks, Mark and James. See you soon. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.